Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video, Movie Review Time, uh, Living, uh, written by Kasu Ishiguro, uh, based on a film by Akira Kurosawa, and directed by Olivia, Oliver uh, Manos, and starring Bill Nighy. What's it like? Is it any good? Should you spend your money, stick around. And you'll find out. Now, I was, uh, I was talking to my friend Mark uh, a few months ago. And Mark is the same age as uh, I am, which is uh, 66. So I suppose intimations of mortality prey a little on our minds at the moment. And uh, as it happened, Mark had a friend who had a, a terminal illness. And we were, we were talking about that. And I think his friend had, had been given six months or a year to live or something. And... Um, I said to Mark, um, because we were talking about bucket lists and stuff like that, and I said to Mark, what would it change if you knew? And there was a kind of silence at the other end of the line because we were talking on the phone. And I said again, what would it change if you knew? And living, I suppose, is about just that thing. What would it change if you knew that you didn't have much longer to live? Um, Bill Nye plays a, uh, I suppose what you'd describe as one of Thoreau's uh, men living lives of quiet desperation. And it's set, uh, set in England, set in London, largely, sorry. Um, the timescale is not entirely clear, but the, the 50s, perhaps early 50s, I, I would say, perhaps later 50s, 50s anyway. And uh, he's, a, uh, he's a civil servant, works for the London County Council, yes, the forerunner of uh, Ken Livingstone and Boris Johnson and how many other mayors uh, in the planning department. And uh, he's, he's uh, the kind of head of this planning department, public works to be precise. And uh, he gets the train to work every day uh, along with his colleagues and uh, they shuffle paper and then they go home at the end of the day and that is their that is their life I suppose uh, it may have something specific to do with the the Japanese salary man uh, concept which uh, is like a kind of what's the word I suppose an office worker who is a salary man and perhaps that's where Kurosawa was interested in the film came from and where this uh, particular film came from. Anyway, uh, he uh, has a meeting with his doctor and is given uh, six months to live. And then uh, I suppose what you think is ah, he's going to he's going to break out he's going to go to the you know he's going to go to the south of france or the riviera or sail around the world or go up in a hot air balloon or down the mines or whatever it is this kind of these kind of bucket list things that uh, people think of doing and th that that idea of the bucket list it's always about it's always about what you're going to do isn't it you're going to you know, go on a roller coaster, or you can go on a zip wire down Snowden, or, or you know, go to the South Sea Islands. It's always about what you're going to do. But this film, Living, is not really about what uh, Bill Nye's character does, Mr. Williams, his name is in the film. Um, it's not what about he does, it's about what he does for other people. And the first part of the film, I thought, well, this is... You know, this is it's a bit dull, really. It's a bit, it's a bit dreary. It's a bit, it's a bit boring. And I, and I guess I was kind of waiting for a kind of James Bond scene to to break out. You know, he'd jump out of a helicopter like in the I Am a Celebrity or something, then a parachute would open. And so I was kind, of, I was kind of waiting for that to happen, and it and it doesn't happen. And the film is incredibly, incredibly powerful. I, I would describe it as a small film with a big message and you emerge from the film and it, and it leaves you with a, it, it leaves you thinking. It, it's one of those films that makes you um, perhaps challenge your uh, ideas about what you're doing with your life, about what you should be doing with your life, about what you could be doing with your life and about what would it change if you knew. And um, there was a, just one thing I found a, a little bit, I wasn't quite so keen on in, in the film. The music is, 
is kind of very good. It, it's very it's very atmospheric. But occasionally I found it a bit too a bit too loud, as if the as if the composer was wanting to tell me what to think through the music, and I and I didn't really feel that I need that needed that. I thought I could work it out for myself. The other thing, and, and I suppose being uh, uh, written or the screenplay by Kazuo Ishiguro, based upon this original film by Kurosawa, uh, reminded me a lot of, of The Remains of the Day, which was obviously written by Kurosawa as well. And there are some similarities between Anthony Hopkins' character and, and Bill Nye's character in, in Living, in the way that, that there is a kind of repressed uh, emotion that, that occasionally leaks out uh, of, a, of a kind of glass prison, uh, if you like. Prison, not prison. Um, and also about, in, in the same way as in the, in the remains of the day, it was, what, it was what was not said that was so powerful as, a, as opposed to just what was said. I was, funny enough, when I, just before I started doing this review, I was, I was watching some uh, footage on YouTube of, uh, of the Grateful Dead uh, doing their version of Bob Dylan's Visions of Joanna. You may be wondering where I'm going with this, but where I'm going with this is that Jerry Garcia, who was a wonderful, wonderful guitarist, but I felt very similar in, in ways to Peter Green of the original Fleetwood Mac. In other words, it was the spaces between the notes. It was the gaps between the notes. It was what he didn't play that was as important as what he did play. And it's what plays upon Bill Nye's face uh, and the the emotions that you see through this kind of repressed 50s Englishman in his in his kind of boring job and he makes a point towards the end of the film about how his his, his dream as a child was always to be a, a, a kind of gentleman a gentleman who got the train to work and worked in an office and provided for his family and so on and so forth and then he gets this he gets this shocking news. And going back to what I said at the beginning, and also a kind of coda, because I said it, I think, in the middle of this review, what would it change if you knew? And my advice to you is go and see. This is a wonderful, wonderful film. And it leaves you uh, wondering, it leaves you thinking, it leaves you, oh, I don't know, it leaves you, not, not, not in tears. I wasn't in tears at the end of it, but it, it brings you up short. And it makes you wonder, what would it change if you knew? So, should you go and see it? Yes, absolutely. It is a truly wonderful film. Thanks for watching and see you next time.